Hi, it's Steve here from Broomhouse Hub um, and in today's uh, video I'm going to be talking to you about growing tomatoes and chilies. So let's have a look in this uh, kit. So you're going to need some tomato and uh, chilli seeds. Here are the chilli seeds first, let's take these out. See these, uh, you know, are quite uh, sort of like a bright yellow colour and round. Okay, and uh, let's have a look at the uh, tomato seeds. So these are a whole lot smaller uh, than the chilli seeds and they've got a slightly more browny colour to them, not as round. And again, you know, we're, we're starting these now because they will take a good uh, six months to to reach maturity to the point where you're uh, you're able to harvest them, um, which is unfortunate in some ways because um, it's obviously it's still really cold, and what tomato seeds and chili seeds need uh, to germinate is a bit of heat, um, so it's no good uh, taking those seeds and just sowing them outside at the moment. What we need to do is to grow them in pots and uh, um, to get them to germinate in a heated place. And an ideal place for that is in your home. Um, just getting them germinated, uh, they'll need a good sort of like room temperature of between 18 and 25 degrees um, centigrade. So uh, they're ideal for, for growing at home. And uh, just the initial stage where we just want them to burst into life, to germinate, um, at that uh, point, you can keep them in you know one of the warmer parts of your house and then as soon as they poke their heads up and have started to grow then you can transfer them to a windowsill and we will keep them on a tray like this and keep them watered on the uh, on the windowsill okay so let's uh, let's get these sewn So in each of these envelopes there are three seeds, there's three chilli seeds in this one. And what we can do is to grow all three in one pot. So I'm just going to make a three holes in the, uh, in the surface. We don't want to go too deep, um, really about three times the uh, diameter of the seed is deep enough so pop those three in cover them up and we'll do the same with the tomato seeds again because these are so much smaller we won't go quite as deep Firm those down. And what we'll do now is just uh, water these, uh, label them so we know where, which uh, pot has which seeds in, and then it's a case of waiting for them to germinate. Now, germination should take between uh, seven and fourteen days. Now uh, we should see. Uh, three little uh, green heads just poking their way through the uh, surface of the, uh, the compost. Um, over that uh, period it's important to keep the compost, compost moist. Um, so just, yeah, if it looks like it's a little bit dry on the surface, just touch it. Um, and if it, it is feeling dry, uh, then we will just uh, water it. But um, yeah, that's just a question of uh, just keeping an eye on it. We don't want to overwater it and that absolutely saturate it. Just keep the uh, uh, the compost, compost moist and like I say initially uh, just keep it in a warm place until you get to that point where you see the germination happen and then it's a case of the seeds needing light at that point 
Um, so at that point, it's good to uh, just take him, take them, and place them on a windowsill somewhere. Ideally, a south or west-facing windowsill. So. As you've seen, uh, we'll give you three seeds and uh, we've given you three pots here. Now, in ideal conditions, all three seeds uh, will germinate. Um, initially, they don't need that much space. Um, so you can grow them initially and germinate them in just the, uh, the single pot. Um, but if you keep them under the, uh, the right conditions and you strike it lucky, you'll have three plants there. So what we'll do in maybe a month's time something like that is to take the um, uh, the three plants and or we can take two of the uh, three plants and fill the two extra pots with compost and transplant uh, those two extra plants into these so we've sown these um, seeds in um, in a small uh, three inch pot and that's fine you know to get the uh, um, tomatoes and the chilies uh, germinated and to grow on in the uh, early start of their uh, or early stage of their life um, but in about two months time uh, they're going to begin to outgrow these pots uh, you'll know that because you'll see roots coming out of the bottom and they might start growing around the inside and we want to avoid that and um, so what you'll need to do at that point is to uh, pot these um, plants on um, so that will involve just taking a, a larger pot, maybe a 7 or a 10 inch pot and um, transplanting the, uh, the plant from here into that larger pot um, into some new compost. That's also important because as the um, tomato plant and the chili plant are growing uh, they're sucking up nutrients from the compost in here um, over the course of their life um, up until the point where they're ready to harvest they're going to use up a lot of nutrients um, so when it comes to potting these plants on we'll probably add um, some uh, plant food to the uh, the compost uh, maybe some uh, seaweed uh, pellets or some chicken manure pellets uh, pellets some fish blood and bone something like that um, just to give the, uh, the plants, uh, the feed that they'll need um, to successfully mature and, and reach harvest. So both uh, tomatoes and chilies uh, require heat uh, when you're growing them. Um, now, you know, the first instinct there is that we're in Scotland, so how are we going to grow tomatoes and chilies? Uh, one answer is, is growing them in a greenhouse or a polytunnel like we have here in the Broomhouse Market Garden. Um, but there is also a way of growing them at home. Um, growing them either on your windowsill or growing them on your uh, balcony, uh, something like that, on your patio. Um, uh, but uh, when you're choosing to do that, then you really need to be a bit selective about the varieties that you're growing because uh, Tomatoes uh, come in two forms. Um, some tomatoes um, will grow like a beanstalk and you know, you'll have plants that are over six foot tall. Um, obviously, you're not going to want to grow that uh, tomato like that on your windowsill. Um, but fortunately, there are tomatoes like um, this one that I've been sowing, which uh, have been bred um, to, be, um, uh, to grow in a restrictive form. Um, these are dwarf bush varieties uh, that we're growing here and they're perfectly suited um, to growing in containers or large pots um, so you could conceivably grow uh, these tomatoes on your windowsill in a uh, 10 inch pot um, with the uh, with the chilies um, Again, you know, they, they need a little bit of warmth, but um, again, you know, we can grow them perfectly well in a pot on a windowsill. Um, I think the fun thing about the, uh, the chilies is just the, uh, the range of heat uh, that chilies come in nowadays. So, you know, if, you're, if you like your chilies uh, quite mild, then you can grow some jalapenos. Um, but there are lots of options out there for growing real mouth-burning uh, chilies. Um, reapers or armageddons or um, scotch bonnets um, that uh, will really uh, blow your socks off so um, 
why not uh, see this as a uh, challenge to see who can grow the uh, the, the hottest uh, chili? What we'd really like to see is if you could uh, grow a chili that's so hot that it makes our chef Baron cry uh, when he's preparing a meal with them. So um, yeah, I'll leave that up to you and uh, see what you can come up with. Okay, so good luck with your chili and tomato growing. Um, if you're successful, um, if you're too successful and you find that you are running out of space, um, then get in touch with us and we will um, gladly take your plants and uh, grow them on here in the uh, polytunnel at uh, Broomhouse Market Garden. If you've got any questions or uh, comments about this, then please pop them in the comment section below. Um, and if you want to find out more about uh, gardening in Broomhouse, then uh, have a look at the, uh, the description and please get in touch with us. Okay, I hope you enjoy your um, chili and tomato growing. Um, please uh, just keep an eye out for future videos and uh, have fun.